Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to write SOP. So as you all know, SPA forms are out and we need to give a statement of purpose for that. And today I'm going to tell you how to write an outstanding SOP. So first, let me introduce myself. I am Parul Sharma. I am an architect and I did my master's in infrastructure design and management from IIT Kharagpur. And also I would like to tell you I got selected into SPA MBEM course in 2019. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about what is SOP, what is the relevance of SOP and how to write a SOP. Along with these points, I will also review my own SOP that I wrote in 2019 and I'll tell you what are the good points in that and how we can improve it more now. So let's get started. Now, so first of all, what is SOP? So I believe those who are watching this video, who have landed to this video, they all know what SOP is. So SOP is statement of purpose. But why is it so important? Why do we need to write an outstanding SOP? You know what? SOP is a reflection of your personality. Okay. SOP speaks for you even before you enter into the room, even before you are present in front of the examiner. That's why it's so much important. SOP gives all the information. Who are you? What are your educational qualification? Do you have any work experience? What are your interests like? Why do you want to do this particular course? And why from this particular institute? What are your short term and long term goals? So everything you need to describe in SOP so that the reader, the examiner gets an idea about the person you are. Right. So that's what make SOP such an important thing. Now coming over to the most important section of this video, that is how to write SOP. So based on my earlier experience and the research that I have done for this video, and I have gone through many sample SOPs also after going through n number of samples myself, I have, you know, concluded that uh, SOP should flow like a story and it should be interesting enough for the reader to read it. There were many SOPs that I couldn't find it interesting in the start and I just skipped it. Why? Because they were not interesting. So try to make it interesting and make it crisp and to the point. So to make your writing more easy, I have divided the structure of SOP into five paragraphs. First thing is opening statement. So opening statement is very important because that are the one, two lines that will attract the focus of the reader. The reader will be like, okay, I want to know more. What more interesting this person has written. So that opening statement can be any phrase written by any architect or planner or any phrase that drives you, that motivates you or that defines you. Okay. And just don't write it and leave it. No, write the statement and then relate it to your life, how you are connected to that statement. For example, if I am writing about urban planning or I am into planning of cities. So my opening statement could be, First, we shape the cities and then they shape us. So this is my opening statement. And now I would further define it how I am incli more inclined towards it. Then my second statement that will relate the opening statement to my life will be, I was always driven with the fact how the planning of cities have direct and indirect impacts on the life of the people who are living in the city. So. Uh, so that is the simple example that I have given. I'm just giving the ideas into your head so that you can think about it. So take multiple references. Okay. But make the final SOP your own. It should reflect you. Okay. So with every step, I will also review my own SOP, what I had written in 2019. And let's see how can we improve it. So I had written in my SOP, as a child, I was fascinated with building and wanted to build them. As years passed by, I came to realize that my career path would surely be around that field or anything related to the development and construction of the buildings. This was my opening statement in my SOP. What a cliche, right? So how can we improve it? When I visited so and so place for the first time during my childhood, I was mesmerized by the urban fabric of that place or we can write by the architecture of the city or place. Later in my life, I found myself more inclined towards the field of architecture and decided to pursue it. So I think I can write it like this.
in the first paragraph we have written the opening statement and we have moved the focus from the opening from a general statement to very selectively to us now second paragraph will be your introduction paragraph where you will introduce yourself what educational qualifications you have achieved if you have work experience explain that how many years of experience you have and what all you want to add in it it might be what have you learned so far so you can pause it here and read the introduction that i had written in 2019 and also it requires lot of paraphrasing and uh, grammatical mistakes are there so just ignore it and uh, you take the reference and also you can read it how we can improvise it also right and don't worry i'll add both the documents in the description below the one that i had written in 2019 and the one in which we are doing the editing so now in the third paragraph describe what have you learned so far be you are undergrad you have work experience but how all that experience whatever experience you have how you are relating that experience to the subject that you are now you want to go that branch that course you are uh, now opting for how that one is related what is that driving force that you want to take that particular course for example urban planning urban design environmental planning why why do you want to do that so that why answer should be given in third paragraph okay in fourth paragraph you can describe why are you a good fit for this particular course so here you can describe your willingness to know more about this subject and also one thing that can help you into this is go through the course curriculum of uh, on spa website whatever course you are applying to go through the course curriculum go through the introduction part that they have written there put some keywords into it that you uh, that you are more interested in knowing uh, conceptualization construction techniques or something whatever the points that are given keywords that are given there and in the fifth and final paragraph where you will sum up so in that paragraph you can give the detail about why are you a good fit for this college and why they should choose you over all the other students why are you such a prominent choice for them justify that in the last paragraph and give us uh, and give a small summary or uh, some of your achievement or anything that shows that you are a good fit for spa so yeah one more thing i remember this at this point is while i was uh, going through this spa sop and all that i remember i wrote my sop in last two days because before that i wasn't motivated at all to write it and if you are struggling with this you know what you need to do just take the paper and start writing it anything just start writing it whatever thought is coming into your mind just start writing it if you don't have any clue so whatever i have told you here just uh, take that paper and write all these five points and whatever come to your mind in those five sections just write it it will create a body of your uh, sop and later on edit it as much as you read it edit it it will come out to be a great sop okay if you need any help regarding sop you can contact me you can mail me or you can uh, reach out to me through instagram i'll add the ids in the description below and if you haven't started writing yet i would suggest you to start writing whatever comes to your mind just write okay all the very best also as i always say do let me know how can i help thank you so much